What does it mean to resist authority and how does this connect with our faith and understanding of the divine? These are the questions that we'll explore in the next seven minutes, delving into the profound wisdom of the scriptures. In the book of Romans, we find a compelling statement. Whoever resists authority is opposing what God has set in place, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. This statement carries a profound message. It speaks to the divine order of things, the inherent structure of the universe. There's a suggestion here that all authority stems from God and to resist it is to resist the divine plan. Turning to the Psalms, we see a different perspective. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the sons of men to see if any understand, if any seek God. Here the emphasis is on understanding and seeking. It suggests a proactive, engaged relationship with the divine, one that goes beyond mere obedience to authority. Then we arrive at the book of Matthew, where we encounter a dialogue between Jesus and the tempter. The tempter challenges Jesus, suggesting he use his divine powers to turn stones into bread. However, Jesus resists this temptation, reminding us that man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. This suggests a deeper form of sustenance, a spiritual nourishment that comes from faith and obedience to God's word. And finally, in 1 Timothy, we find a powerful affirmation of faith. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. This scripture speaks to the potential for redemption and salvation through faith, charity and holiness. In summary, these scriptures offer us a complex, nuanced perspective on authority and faith. They remind us that all authority comes from God, yet also urge us to actively seek and understand the divine. They warn against temptation and offer a promise of salvation through faith and good deeds. And so, as we reflect on these teachings, we might find ourselves reconsidering what it means to resist authority and how our faith shapes our understanding of the divine order. These are not easy questions, but they are ones that can guide us on our spiritual journey, offering us wisdom and insight along the way.